In order to remove a stump, I'm going to use Spectricide Stump Removal Granules. This product is designed to accelerate decomposition and make it easier for me to remove the stump. Here's some quick pictures to show decomposition over a period of six months. After six months, it only took me one hour of easy labor to remove the stump. To begin, peel away the label on the back of the bottle to find the instructions. These are the instructions that I will follow in applying the granules. Note that these granules speed up the decomposition of the stump by making it porous. Once the stump is soft and porous, it may easily be removed or burned. All of this depends on the size of the stump and the hardness of the wood. Remove the cap and cut the tip off using wire cutters and set aside. Here are some of the tools that I recommend. I will name them as I go along. First, make sure the stump has been sawed closely to the ground. Then, dig out around the stump so the sides are exposed. The stump that I'm removing is from a wild plum tree and is roughly 17 inches in diameter and 10 inches tall after digging it out. Next, attach a 1 inch spade bit to an extension and secure in a drill. Drill several 1 inch diameter holes up to 12 inches deep into the stump. As you go along, drill holes in the side of the stump 3 to 4 inches from the top at an angle where the side holes meets the bottom of the vertical holes. The more holes you drill, the better the coverage will be for the granules. It's best to do this on a dry stump. A dry stump acts as a wick and will take on the dissolved granules more effectively. Next, pour out four ounces of stump removal granules into each hole. Or simply pour out the granules randomly using the easy pour spout on the container. Then fill each hole with hot water to dissolve the granules. Continue to add water to the holes for several days to ensure the granules dissolve completely. Allow the decomposition process to take place for three to six months before removing the stump. At two months, I check the integrity of the stump with an ax just to get an idea of the progress. It was definitely too hard and I knew to give it more time to decompose. At six months, the stump was significantly softened and ready for removal. Start making cuts with the axe at random on the surface of the stump. Then place a splitting wedge in the cuts. Break the stump up in this manner using the wedge and a hand sledge. Continue on around the stump, working your way from the outside inward. As you go along, the pieces can be removed by hand as they split off. The labor is fairly easy if you take your time. I even did this while I was sitting on a bucket. Once the majority of the stump has been removed, use an axe to chop away the residual. Make sure to continue the removal down to the roots below the surface. Then take a rake and clean out the majority of the debris from the hole. Next, fill the hole with soil and spread grass seed on the surface. Work the seed into the soil using a rake. Then add a light cover of straw or dried yard clippings to protect the seed bed. Keep watered until the grass has been established. This may take a whole season.